Oh, it's a hundred percent improvement. Um, when I br was brought into DHC, when I first started, my first evaluation, they handed me this booklet called the PPEP. I didn't understand it. No one explained it to me. When I was in New York City, um, my evaluation consisted of two um, full lesson observations, so full 45 minute period or full 90 minute period observations by my principal that I knew when they were gonna happen. And I was rated just based on, I wasn't sure what, <laughs> satisfactory or unsatisfactory. Under impact, I'm evaluated through a few different um, lenses, uh, one of which is the um, observation. So five times throughout the year, um, I am observed um, three times by my principal and two times by a master educator. Those um, observations lead to a score, uh, one through four. And those scores are um, an average of a nine point rubric that they use to evaluate us. Between five evaluations throughout the year, you get a pretty good picture. You know, because one observation or two observations, I don't feel are enough for me to really know my practice as a whole. I'm also evaluated by um, my students' test scores. Um, there are um, about five, I think just less than 500 teachers in DCPS that are evaluated through test scores. Um, being that my students took a DCCAS examination last year, they can measure their, ch their growth from third grade to fourth grade. Um, and that is 50% of my evaluation. The observations are 35%. And then there's another part that's our commitment to school community, which is, you know, do we do after school programs? Do we tutor students after school? Are we um, bringing in donations to the school? Things like that. Well, we're two years into the evaluation process now. And at this point, I feel like the areas on the rubric are very clear to us. In the beginning of the year, we're given a, we're given a book. We're, we're told exactly what we're looking for. We're given a rubric to say what's a four, what's a three, what's a two, what's a one. So it's not a secret on what you're being evaluated on. Throughout the year, there's teachers that are identified based after the first round of observations. The district sort of identifies where across the districts are most teachers scoring the lowest. And then we do a professional development day, all teachers around the district do a professional development day based on that. A system such as IMPACT, I believe, is definitely very helpful for the growth of, of teachers um, in their profession. The main reason is because um, just like we set up our very clear expectations for our students in the classroom, there are very clear expectations for us um, while we're teaching. Under the IMPACT system, my practices change pretty dramatically. Um, I've changed the way that my classroom runs. I, we every day start out by reading an objective for the day and we actually talk specifically about why is it that we're learning this every single day and how does it relate to what we're learning this unit and then how does that relate to what we're learning this year. So we have that conversation every day and I never used to do that. Um, some, some of the positive things that have changed about my teaching as a result of impact. Um, I'm much more objective driven in my lessons now and I think I'm more clear with myself and my students uh, in terms of exactly what we're going to be learning that day and how we're going to get there. And that's been helpful to me. Uh, that's been a point that I needed to develop and I feel like I've, I've moved pretty far along with that. It's good to have somebody like kind of let you know objectively, this is what I'm seeing and this is really excellent. If a district is committed to closing the achievement gap, we do need to be holding all teachers accountable for preparing our students for reading and math. I do want to be a highly effective teacher, so show me what that looks like. 